Alright guys, we're going to continue on with the ethanol build here. And what you see here um, is I have my road masked off. And uh, we're going to go ahead and spray that with uh, granite. I think it's a pretty good color for the road. Um, anyhow, this would be like a big huge uh, open space where the trucks can come in and go into the uh, uh, storage shed and unloading shed. And all of this property here will be where the other buildings will be sitting. Uh, I did put a, a coat of uh, aged concrete on here first, so the uh, some of the pads will look like they're on concrete rather than on the uh, on the blacktop. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get on with the process here. All right, guys, as you can see, I got it all masked off, and this will be my road coming down here, and we'll have uh, a little blacktop in here. That's where my uh, uh, Walters North Island refinery is going to sit and then there'll be a parking lot here with an office right next to it so anyhow uh, this is all protected and I also protected the floor uh, just because I don't want to get any paint on my carpet anyhow uh, there's the paint I'm going to be using as you can see it's granite and uh, so we'll get going on the process and the next time I show you this um, I will pull all the paper off and we'll see what the road looks like. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, I got the uh, granite paint down but I'm not really happy what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and lay some uh, black ballast on top of the wet paint. And uh, hopefully that will work out a little bit better. So here we go. And the wet paint should hold it down, and then after it dries, I will go ahead and uh, uh, do the uh, glue and water trick. But for now, this will give me a temporary hold down. And then uh, I'll add some dirt on top of this. <clears throat> I won't show all you guys the whole thing, but uh, this is going to act like a uh, gravel road, basically. Um, and I wanted to distinguish the colors between the... Uh, each concrete and the road so that's why I'm um, doing this a darker color and plus it'll give it a little bit more texture a little bit more detail to the layout anyhow uh, I'll go ahead and uh, finish this up and uh, we'll see how it looks be back shortly all right guys as you can see I added uh, black ballast or cinder as it's called and I also added a couple of sprinkles of dirt in there to give it like the worn out look um, every place that's covered here will be the aged concrete to make it look like there are buildings around concrete pads. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we'll put the buildings on here. Uh, they have been painted and the roofs have been made. And uh, so we should be pretty well on our way for this uh, structure to be done. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, I also intend to uh, continue the uh, gravel road around this section here. And we'll go all the way up to um, this track right here and this little bit of a road right here. And also I need to complete uh, the um, ground cover in this area also. But uh, I'll be getting to that soon. Right now I'm concentrating just on the uh, ethanol plant. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we'll get back to the rest of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll be right back. Alright guys, this is the second part of uh, putting ground cover down on uh, on my uh, ethanol plant area. Um, I do it a little bit differently than everybody else does um, because uh, I don't want to spray the track up twice. So, uh, what I do is, um, of course I got my water and alcohol or soap mix as you guys all know. What I do is this, I just put it down. like so and uh, then I'll take my uh, 
my little paintbrush that I have here, dedicated for paint for uh, glue. And I will go ahead and just uh, go ahead and spread this glue out, being careful for my turnouts. And um, then we'll just go ahead and sprinkle some uh, some uh, of the ground cover on. I'm using Woodland Scenics uh, Fine Turf. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of different colors that I have on here, um, different manufacturers. But basically, I'm just going to be doing this here. So we'll uh, go ahead and do a fast forward on this, and uh, you guys can watch me do this. Um, when I do my ballast, is when I'll spray everything down for a final uh, gluing. Um, but as you can see, I already have some of it done. And I always put my paintbrush in water so the glue doesn't get hard. Um, using the Woodland Scenics uh, Blended Turf Earth Blend. Anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and lay some of this down. I have used uh, lifelike stuff before this Woodland Scenics so the color is actually a little bit different but that's okay because earth is not the same color no matter what anyhow also when I put the ballast on here it'll uh, take up the parts that are not covered at this time Alright guys, that's about all I'm going to show you guys. The rest is basically all the same. I'm um, just going to do the rest of my uh, property here. And I'm not showing the buildings on here because they are painted, but I want to get most of the ground cover done before I put the buildings on. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be back shortly.
All right, guys, I'm going to take you for a little tour of the uh, preliminary ground cover that I have done in my ethanol plant and also the uh, yard right next to it. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys is that because I left this empty here because I intend to put a uh, <coughs> um, another turnout here and eliminate um, this one stub end track. I noticed when I was doing my uh, switching maneuvers in Central Phoenix that uh, that will come in very handy. It'll save a whole bunch of moves for me to do. Anyhow, uh, I got a couple of cactus sitting there. Of course, this one right here is HO scale. Um, I thought I'd try it and see how it looks, but it's way too big. Uh, anyhow, we'll continue on down. And this will be where the hoppers are. And this space here will be the uh, hopper unloading, truck unloading, and storage. Uh, then, of course, we're going to have a couple of storage tanks here. And then we'll have uh, the energy center and the processing plant. And also we'll have the uh, Walters Cornerstone North Island Refinery uh, kit here. And then we also will have truck loading. And then finally we get to uh, the uh, tanker unload, tanker loading, I should say. Uh, and I left this down here concrete because I thought it would be... Uh, uh, more prototypical for it to be on concrete rather than dirt. Um, <clears throat> over here we will have an office. Um, like I said this is preliminary. I still got to do some grass. We don't have very much grass here in, uh, especially in the yard situation. Uh, but I will put some grass in there. And then finally uh, I'll be doing some ballast. But before I do the ballast I got to fill in my, um, my empty ties along here. Uh, but the ballast will be coming later on. I don't even know what color I want to use yet. <coughs> I was using buff, but I don't think uh, I might use something darker because this uh, ground cover was actually pretty light. <coughs> and the ground cover I used was Woodland Scenics. And uh, the next time I show you this will be the reveal with all the buildings in place, all painted and all tanks and plumbing and all that kind of stuff will be done. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly.